All right, we're starting again, and I'll repeat again because it maybe it wasn't on uh, video that I said to read article number seven in the Shida series. It's actually article number eight. That's the one on ed and s endings and how to pronounce them. So that's a correction. I've also corrected it on the website. And Sophie has a little announcement here, and please pay close attention. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start on a very, very important piece of work, and that is we're going to practice writing Mandarin in IPA. 如何用IPA 做国语,就中文,华语, whatever you want to call it, zijin. And I asked you to bring this handout, two pages of the paper by Professor Li Wenzhao, because he has a very nice couple of tables that compare Chinese IPA symbols, the ones that we use for Mandarin, with the ones that we use for Standard American English. And he's really a good person to do it because he's really great at both. He's thoroughly bilingual. And he's a, a phonologist, so um, he's really a good person to uh, put together a handout like this. Now here they are. We'll just go over them quickly. This isn't going to be enough to know how to use them because it's all theory. And you won't really learn it well until you practice transcribing words. So we'll give you a piece written in Chinese, and you need to transcribe it into IPA. That will be your uh, assignment. And that will be due on Monday. So here are the vowels. Let's go over the vowels first in Mandarin. And that's probably the toughest part. The consonants are a little easier. Let's do the, the vowels. They're tough. We've got e here. So e or sanda e, or b po the b, or xi. We're going to use this i, yodi and the i. And that's like English, so that's no problem, right? So that's e. And very similar to it, it's the same, pretty much the same place of articulation, but it's got what? Lip rounding, we have u, e and u. And e and u group together for some things, namely what? If you have ji qi xi, what vowel can come after ji qi xi? Either e or those are the only vowels that we that are allowed after ji qi xi. So you can keep those kind of together in your mind. Ji qi xi hou mian zhi you liang ge ke neng. Yi ge zhi yi, yi ge that's all. Nothing else. So that's special about ji qi xi. They developed from other sounds in earlier Chinese. Uh, ji, for example, how do you say ji in Minan Yu? Ge or gui, whatever you like, okay? Kani nan bei, ah. So, ji was originally ge in earlier Chinese. Jiu shi bizao, bizao zao de nega, nega zhong gu, ah, hai yo geng wan de nega han yu li mian. Ji, mu qian guo yu de ji ben lai shi ge, ge, gui. You can hear it in Minayu. Minayu can help you, yochi shi initials, ci shou, shen mu, bi jiao wei you bang zhu. Ke shi hen duo yue mu Minayu ye bian hen duo. Yi ji bi hua le, na ge yue mu bu jian le, PTK hen duo ye bu jian le. Guang de hua bi jiao hao, ke shi guang de hua ye zai bian. All right, so if you want to find out, ni yao xian zai gan huai qu xue xie fang yan, it will help you. In any case, yi and yu only come after ji qi xi. Well, yi can come after many sounds. But qi qi xi, hou mian, zi you liang zhong mu yin de ke neng, na jiu shi, ke neng de mu yin jiu shi yi gen yu. All right, what else do we have here? We have, this is yi, and you probably don't even think it's a vowel. Like, zi liao de zi, si xiang de si, ci, ci shu de ci, ci, okay, yi ci liang zi de ci. That's the vowel we use. 我先指出一些比较麻烦的, yu, use a y. For yu, you don't even write a vowel in zhuyin fuhao, 对不对? 你只写一个符号, 它包括那个, 包含那个母音在里面, 就是这个, it's a regular i with a bar, yu, it's high, mid, yu, yu, 
okay? And then we have this one. It's another one that you don't even think is a vowel, a separate vowel. That's the vowel that comes after. Zhi, shi, shi, zhi. And I'm exaggerating them. I know you don't say them like that in Taiwan. But just use that to remember it because that's a juan yin. That's a retroflex. So zhi, shi, shi, zhi in, in zuin fu hao. Zhiu yi ge fu hao jiu gou le. Zhi dao de zhi zhiu yi ge fu hao. But in IPA, you need a consonant and you need a vowel. And this is the vowel. It's not standard IPA. IPA is not Because it's not very common in other languages. So, take a in. It's kind of in the dark here. Take an S. Without this, it's S. With this, it's S. So why don't we learn that? Since we're talking about the retroflex vowel, we have zhi. This is a la la, wei ba la tang. Remember in the tutorials, the voicing tutorials, they had retroflex. Do you remember? Ta jiu shi la tang wei ba wang you go. That's a retroflex. So T with a long tail pointing to the right, S. 有时候那个比例,我的比例不太好。S has got the same thing on it. Okay, so 王又勾。然后呢,吃, it's the same thing, but we add aspiration here. 在上面,右上方,小小的一个H,就是送气, aspiration. Remember that in Chinese, we don't have voiced initial consonants, stops, and, and affricates. 中文是没有。有声,无声的差别,就是无声跟无声加上送气. Are you paying attention? This is really important. If you don't get it, you're going to be really mixed up. So, 知道的知,吃饭的吃,知道的知不是 voiced, 它是 voiceless, unaspirated. 知道的知 is voiceless, unaspirated. 吃饭的吃 is voiceless, what? Aspirated, song qi. Chi, you got a lot of air coming out there. So say zhi and then say chi, zhi, chi, zhi, chi. Can you feel more air for chi? That one's aspirated. Everything else is the same. Zhi, chi, and then we've got shi right here. This one is what kind of a sound? What's its manner of articulation? Fricative, ta yin, right? How about these two? Africans. So while we were doing the vowels, we got sort of distracted and brought over to the consonants. The, these are the tough ones. A lot of the consonants will be very easy for you. The tough ones are zhi zhi shi and ji qi xi. Those are the hardest ones. Zhi zhi shi zhi, we'll add zhi in a minute. The other ones you won't have much trouble, but you have to remember these. This retroflex. Now, it's also called post alveolar, and I think that's a little more accurate. You might have me of fates on a juan. Bushan nan indu, indu nan bu. They are very, very juan. They're very retroflex. So when they talk, everything is retroflex. You can tell from the way they speak English. Right? Just a fates on juan. That's the indu nan bu, the zui juan. And that's a jinjin of retroflex. Zhong wen, the Ijao Ladafoga, Han Ian Madison. I'm a juan jia. They say, Zhongwen的其实不算 retroflex, 算 post alveolar, 没有那么卷. And in Taiwan, they're even less juan, not just in Taiwan, but in all of southern China. 就中国南方的国语的发音, 差不多就没有那么卷, 不像北京那么卷. Okay? So now we know, what kind of sounds are these? Manner? This is a fricative. What are these? Africans. There we go. So we've solved a major problem in transcribing Chinese right now. Remember, use the retroflex T, retroflex X, add a little raised H if it's, if it's aspirated, and it's just an S with a go go for shi, zhi, zhi, shi. And we need zhi. And zhi, we have a Z plus that same little hook. It's a retroflex Z. It's zhi, 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 shi, zhi, 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 zhi. So you don't take a So Z and then come back a little bit and make a hook. Downs it. That's 
you're going to need that. So we've solved four we were just talking about e and u. We we learned the xi, the symbol for xi last uh, earlier in the semester, a long time ago. Do you remember? I said you'll need this in the future. It's not palatal alveolar, we call it alveolo palatal. Let's put the shi down here so we keep them all together. Oh, that's not very good, is it? Okay? And now we're going to do ji qi xi, and these are pretty easy because you, you should all remember this symbol. Remember? Al alveolo palatal. It looks like a C with a little curly Q. Xi just is down here. Is it clear enough? Downs it. That's a xi. Xi. Everybody got it? And then, how do we form ji and qi now that we know how to write xi? How do we write it? There are two different ways. Well, there are more than two ways, but there are two ways that I can think of. I'll, I'll teach you the more common one, but I'll tell you about the less common one. We just put a T there, and then this symbol for Xi. Ji is down here. So what's this one going to be? T and this plus a raised H. Ji, Qi, Xi. That's the easy way to do it. Now, do you remember in the Closest tutorials, you also learned palatal stops. Do you remember? And it was in the test. And some of you had trouble with that because we didn't teach them. We hadn't taught them at that point, but we're going to learn them now. Palatal stops. Do you want to find them in your IPA table in your book? Look for palatal stops. Palatal. Uh, in. What are the palatal stops? There's a voiceless one and a voiced one. What's the voiceless one? It's just the letter C. So here's an alternate way of writing ji qi xi, and it's actually a bit more consistent. The, the C by itself, it's like a palatal, it's like a stop, is I'll put a vowel after it. Ya, 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 ya. Ha hen rong yi bian sen yi ge Africa, yin wei si she mian yin. In Chinese, you call it e yin or she mian yin. A, a large part of your tongue comes in contact with your hard palate. So, and when there is a large surface touching another large surface, it's very easy for them to produce what kind of a sound? So, for G, we can write jia, it's like a and then put the xi after it. So, ji qi xi, we can write ji, qi, xi hai si yang. Ji qi xi si zhang zi. This is ling wai ge xie fa. Mu qian wo me hao xiang yong de si zhe ge. All right, that was the bell. Zari. Uh huh, okay. Um, let me just go over really, really quickly. The other ones I think you can do yourself. Yi yu, we've already talked about. U, like zi liao de zi. Zhi zhi shi zhi de zhi. For u, no problem. This is like du zi e de e. E. She. Du zi e. This is like an o, but it's unrounded. O, e. And this is o. And we still have shuang mu yin in Chinese, so you're going to have to watch out for that. E will use for a lot of sounds. For example, hen, hen gao, hen, hen. Now, we don't say hen. Mei you e, so I don't use that. I use a regular shua. And this is a for use in a, etc. 你会用到这个。我还要加一个, as in, for example, 前,前面的前,我会用英文的倒三,前面的前,前面要加一个I,前面的前是个E,加这个E,前。Now, 其实, 
这个是个 elephant， 现在是时间不够，我没有办法再跟你们讲。我想 ，I'm going to give you an assignment， 其他的你们要自己去想。Look at the article， and I'm also going to give you a rather sloppy example that you can use for a guide。这是我以前做的一个 transcription， 那个 link 已经放在我们的 syllabus page 上。给你个 text， 这是以前用的一个 text。这是我自己的 transcription， 我发现里面有一些小错 ，so that will give you something to look for 你。你你看能不能挑出我的错？有些地方我没有抄到，没有没有抄对。OK， so this is how it looks。最后要要跟你们讲的是四声怎么写。We're going to use the so-called tone letters， and we don't have time to go into detail， but 右边那只是给我们一个等一个目标。就是一个 direction to go to. So, 第一声会这样子写，第二声是这样子写，可能可能会留点在上面。第三声要怎么写 ？This is how we write it. So, we don't say so. We say so. So, 三声就这样而已。我们现在我们 transcribe 的是。台湾的华语 ，All right, and then 四声就是这样这样下来。These all have places. The highest position is five, middle is three, the lowest is one, two, and four. So we can also use numbers to indicate tones. 中文的第一声算四四，第二个我们可以算或者是二四或二五，看你的二声有多高。三声是。二一，如果它上去的话是二一三，可是通常不会上去。And the last one is five one. 妈，妈，妈，妈。所以每一个音节后面你要放一个 tone letter， 让我们知道是第几声。Everybody understand what I've just told you? 都可以吗 ？You have an example here, so it's this is my personal transcription. 这是我个人的风格。有些人的那个中文的 transcription 会不一样，这是我个人采用的。So you can use this as a model, and I want you to transcribe the first paragraph of this 小狗布丁的这个小文。And all you need to to transcribe is this 头两行，第一段第一个段落。I want you to transcribe it in IPA. Okay, and that's due on on Monday, but work on it early and find where your problems are, and we're going to put answers on the board on Monday. So this is our introduction to Chinese、uh, transcribing Mandarin.、Um, those are the consonants. So the vowels we covered the vowels pretty much. Ah, 跟这个我先跟你们讲，这里这个 ah 是肮脏的 ah， 肮脏的 ah 会是这个这个符号，安全的 ah。用这个 ，Everybody can see what I'm doing here. 这个是安全的啊，用的有帽子。肮脏的啊、嗯，是用这个啊。所以啊跟啊用不同的 a 的符号。This is American. And this one, the rest are pretty clear. B p m f the b s a p, p s a p h with aspiration. T a d t g. K, z, z. This is easy. It's just ts. Z, z, z is just an s. Z, z, z. Z, z. 它的那个 z 是有点不一样。它是用一般的 t， 其实也可以。G7 也是用一般的 t， 也可以。这是刚介绍过。F， 佛教的佛等等。S 在这里讲过。S, z， 这个比较特别。呃，不对，这个是儿，那不是日 ，sorry， 这是儿，儿子的儿，倒过来的儿，再加一个 retroflex， 一个勾勾，儿子的儿。西讲过，和台台湾的国语比较少用，盒子还是盒子？第一个，第二个，盒子，那你就用 h， 不用 x。你如果是很明显的有差音，盒子好，那就用这个 x， 没有的话就用 h。盒子好，那是 H，OK
，OK， 它没有列 H， 可是其实我就用 H， 因为台湾那个和比较少。么呢没有问题。呢 is the same as English, no problem. W like Wang, L, Lan, Y, 看你 Y 怎么用。颜颜色的颜就要用到。OK, that's American. We've covered the symbols really, really quickly, but you look at the symbols, look at the example that I just showed you, that I did myself, and transcribe those first two lines, or that first paragraph of Xiao Buding. Okay, 可以吗？ That's it for today. We will see you on Saturday.